Hi guys, welcome to this video. NixOS 22.11 has been released and it's been a few days since it has been released. I have not been feeling well, I'm not 100% good today, but I've decided to make the video today. So first let's go and have a look at NixOS.org, their official website. So if you see here, NixOS 22.11 has been released. So if you want to download the ISOs, go to the download section here. This is the Nix package manager. Let's come down NixOS, the Linux distribution. So the current version is 22.11. That's good. And here you can see two categories. There is graphical ISO image and minimal ISO image. So in the graphical ISO image, what you will get is you will get a graphical environment. You will get a graphical way to do the installation. In a minimal installation, you will not have any graphical environment. You have to do the installation entirely in a TTY. So in the graphical ISO image, you have two variants. You have GNOME and you have Plasma. You have 64-bit Intel AMD and then 64-bit ARM, both for GNOME and Plasma. Then in the minimal ISO, you have one ISO for 64-bit Intel slash AMD. That is your regular desktop personal computer. Then you have a 64-bit for ARM PCs and then you also have a 32-bit Intel slash AMD. That is for your old personal computer. So the ISO that I have downloaded today is the Plasma Desktop 64-bit Intel slash AMD. And we are going to be doing the installation in a virtual machine. So let's go to Virtual Machine Manager. This is Virtual Machine Manager or simply Word Manager. Let's create a new virtual machine. Let's uh, It's local install media because we have the ISO image already downloaded. Let's go forward. Let's browse and let's go to the ISO directory or wherever, whatever directory you have your ISO file downloaded. So let's go down. Let's find an XOS Plasma 22.11. It's here. Let's choose that. It's saying NixOS is unstable because Word Manager uh, in NixOS at least has not got the message that NixOS 22.11 is the new stable NixOS version. That's it. If it is NixOS is unstable, it doesn't matter. We can go forward. Let's give 6000 megabytes of uh, RAM and three CPU cores out of the total six that is available for me. Let's go forward. Select or create custom storage. Go to manage, go to the VM's uh, directory. That's where I keep all my virtual machines. So let's create a new one. That is already in XOS 22.11. Let's refresh it. It's gone. Let's uh, change it to XOS 22.11. <coughs> Give it 50 gigs of uh, storage because we are going to be using this virtual machine in the future as well. Let's finish that. And it will allocate the storage. Uh, sorry, my voice is not good. And maybe I'll cough a couple of times in the middle of this video. Don't mind that. Let's choose volume. Let's go forward. And here again, let's uh, change the name. Let's give it finish. Let's make it full screen. Enter to get into the installer. Here we are inside the graphical environment and straight away the NixOS installer screen just comes out. You don't have to go and uh, select something, it's just there. If you want to go, you, you have the NixOS manual here on the back. You can go and visit that. That's nothing but a web page that leads to NixOS manual. Now we are not going to look at any of those. Let's continue with the installation. Language is American English by default. You can choose whatever language is available. If uh, the language that you like is available from the list, you can select that. I don't think Indian English will be available. So I'm going with American English. So let's go next. Time zone Kolkata is fine for me. You choose your time zone if uh, there is a mismatch in the selection. Let's go next. English US again is fine for the keyboard layout as well. Let's go. Now let's give a name. JR. Password again. A very short password. Because this is a virtual machine. And then login automatically. No need. But use the same password for the administrator account. Next. And... Uh, this installation is going to be how I will do the installation. So typically I select no desktop, then I enable the awesome window manager later. So let's go with that no desktop. Let's go next. Allow one free software. You can tick that maybe in the future you will need to install some uh, proprietary software that will come handy at that time. So allow one free software is checked. Next. Uh, the disk partitioning. Let's go with erase disk. Swap. You can give swap or no swap. Let's go with swap no hibernate. That will take around 5 gigs of uh, your storage for swap. Next. Now this is an overview of all you have uh, chosen so far with the installer. Let's go ahead and install this. And the installation process will run. I'll pass the video and I'll join you once this part of the installation has been completed.
so the installation has been completed it's asking to restart let's uh, click restart now and let's give done so it will automatically reboot now since we have not chosen any desktop environment a graphical uh, environment will not sorry a graphical display server will not be installed no graphical environments no desk uh, window managers nothing it's going to be a tty we are going to have to install things manually so now we have a tty here it's saying nix os login so what can we do let's log in give the username jr give the password as well and then where can we find the NixOS configuration file? That is where we are going to make the changes. So we will not have Vim installed. We will have Nano, but so sudo Nano, the uh, installation, sorry, the configuration file will be in slash hc slash NixOS slash configuration dot Nix. So enter, it will ask for the password and this is our configuration file. So in this file, there is going to be no mention of any graphical servers, any window managers because we selected no desktop. So we are going to allow them uh, now, we are going to do that manually. So how can we do that? So let's get somewhere in the config file. So below these allow unfree packages and let's create a comment that is we'll give a hash and we will type display servers server and window managers enter now how can we uh, enable uh, the display server we are going to do the xorg server we are not going to do well and now so services dot x server dot enable is equal to true and a semicolon so what this will do is this will enable the x server or the x org display server then enter then we need a display manager or a login manager i am going to use light dm in this video so services dot x server dot display manager so in the display the m for the manager alone is a capital letter so display manager dot light dm dot enable is equal to true again a semicolon at the end the semicolon at the end of each line is very very important in NixOS. otherwise you will get an error then we need a window manager or a desktop environment we are going to do a window manager so services dot x server dot window manager i should type that correctly window manager again the m will be a capital letter dot and we are going to enable the awesome window manager enable is equal to now you can enable other uh, window managers as well and desktop environments as well so if you want to enable a desktop environment then instead of window manager you will give desktop manager and what it will do is it will you have to give the name of the uh, desktop environment after you type desktop manager so for example if i want kde plasma i'll do services dot x server dot desktop manager dot and then i think it is plasma 4 i don't know correctly so i'm not doing that so that's the process you have to look at look at the names of that in the nixos.org in the packages search you can go and look for that so now we have enabled this now let's come down <coughs> here we have environment system packages so you can see the cursor flickering there so that's where you will enable the packages <coughs> Now in XOS, there are two ways you can install packages inside the configuration file. So here you can see my user information is given on the top. Here you can see packages with packages. Inside these square brackets, you can also add packages. That way, the packages will only be added for that particular user. But if you come here in system packages with packages, if you enable packages here, then those packages will be enabled for all the users including the root user on this system so that's what <coughs> that is what we are going to do today so we are going to enable vim and wget then we have to enable some important packages we need a terminal emulator let's do kitty or alacrity or xterm something anything is fine then we need a browser let's go with firefox <coughs> And these two are very important, a terminal emulator, a text editor and a browser. If you have these, then you can make changes later on. Otherwise, you will, you cannot make changes once you boot inside your, the, inside your graphical environment. So be careful about that. Now that is it. That's all. Now let's uh, control X to exit, Y to write it and enter. And now the command that we have to do is first, let's clear the screen, sudo nixos dash rebuild space 
switch now whatever changes we have made to the configuration whatever needs to be built will be built and the new configuration will be loaded so enter <coughs> I'm having some serious issues here with the cold. So it should take some time to build the system. Meanwhile, I'll pass the video and I'll join you once this process has been completed. So now the build process has been completed. So now we can reboot. Let's type reboot enter. <coughs> And you can see here in the grub, you have NixOS default and NixOS all configurations. So the default, what it will do is it will load the latest configuration file that was built and all configuration will give you a list of all the configuration files that are available. So let's go there. Let's see one and two. So one was the first configuration that we generated while we installed NixOS and configuration two is the second configuration. Now the beauty of NixOS, as you may know already, is that once you get a successful configuration of NixOS up and running, there is no way you can break the system because you can always go back to the successful NixOS configuration right from the grub. So now let's go with the second configuration that is the latest one. Enter and now we should have a display manager that is a login manager. We should have a graphical environment as well. So we have light DM here. Let's give the password and we have the awesome window manager. So let's give Windows R or super R, you will get a run prompt up here. Let's do kitty, that's our terminal emulator. And let's do x render minus s 1920 into 1080 so that we will get a proper screen resolution here. So now the screen is good. <coughs> now what we, wa we have to do is, now we are inside the uh, graphical environment now you can do whatever you want inside this you can uh, load your configuration file of the awesome window manager or you can grab the configuration file that i have on my gitlab you can install all those programs now how will you do that again let's open the terminal emulator as of now the terminal is a lifeline here everything is done inside the terminal let's zoom in a little bit <coughs> okay so sudo Vim, we installed Vim if you remember and slash hc slash nixos slash configuration. Oh my god, configuration dot nix. Let's give the password and you can see this is the configuration. So the thing that we added is uh, down here. These are the things that we added. Now you can add more desktop environments. You can add more window managers, etc. You can add more apps here just by giving the name. So how will you do all those things? Let's open a browser. I'm just going to show how that is done and I'm going to close this video. I'm not going to configure awesome. If you want to know how to configure the awesome window manager, you can go and watch my video of how to configure the awesome window manager. So let's uh, go here. Let's go to nixos.org. And here we have a search button here. This is to search. So NixOS 22.11 is been uh, has been selected by default. If you are on the unstable version, you will go and uh, you will search for packages in the unstable here. So now you want to uh, install certain packages. For example, you want to install the Brave browser. You will search for the Brave browser. What is the name of the browser here? And Brave. So if it is a package, what you will do is you will simply go to your configuration file and you will create a new line in Vim. You give O to create a new line and get into insert mode and type brave. Then colon W to write. So this is for adding packages. Now what if you want to add some other line? So like this line. These are called as options. These lines. So next packages dot config allow one free. That is a uh, option. So now if you want to enable a desktop environment or a window manager, you cannot simply add them to the packages. That will not work. You have to enable it as an option. So let's go here. If you want to enable the plasma desktop environment, for example, plasma, plasma will show here something like this, but this will not work for the plasma, uh, plasma uh, desktop uh, environment. You go to options here on the top, you have packages and options. So go to options. So here you can see services.xserver.desktopmanager.plasma5.enable is equal to true. So you have to copy this line by default the value is false so as of now the value is false only if you enable it it will become true so you can copy this line so let's do that Control c to copy then let's uh, come here go into a new line get out of uh, sorry get into insert mode uh, let's stay in insert mode Control shift v to copy space is equal to 
through. Now what this line does is it enables and installs the Plasma 5 desktop environment. So this package is uh, uh, page that is going to be very very important. Sorry the search page where you can search for packages and for option so this is a tremendous thing the documentation is really fantastic so even below you will know what is the default value how to change those values it will all be given in a descriptive manner so that's it this is how i will start with my nixos 22.11 installation now you can go and configure it uh, later on so another command that you have to remain so colon wq to write and quit out of this configuration file sudo nixos dash rebuild to rebuild the switch uh, system and then switch to switch to that new configuration so enter that should build the system and that should uh, rebuild with the new configuration with a brave browser and with the plasma 5 desktop environment so that's it for this video this is uh, i uh, this is a different kind of video not your normal video that you will see i don't know how this video will be useful if you find this video to be useful then please click the like button you can share this video if you think that this video will be useful to somebody else and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to the channel and you have a comment section where you can mention what are your thoughts about this video you can ask your doubts you can uh, give future video suggestions etc and i will do whatever video is possible for me and you can also pray for me to get well so I can do my next video tomorrow I am planning to do a video tomorrow so if my health is better it will be better for me to do the video thank you for watching have a nice day